All right, folks, now done with the countries and continents to map pack, moving on to the strongholds and castles. And this is Himeji Castle, Progressive World Arm, for Map Master Mondays. What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination. The daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch. And if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. What a ride it has been, folks. Here we are on Himeji Castle. Map Master Mondays. What a cool map. Take a look. Uh, how would I shoot this? Maybe we'll do... Inverse Pete and Reg. We got Reg in the bottom left. We got Pete. That looks pretty good. All right. Uh, things to note. We're doing World Domination, the whole series, every map in the game, one by one, putting them into a tier list. World Domination Progressive, Auto 60 Expert, Automated Bot, Bounce Blitz Dice, and then nothing fancy. No Fog Portals, Blizzard Alliances. I'm in the ultimate seat playing this yellow. In position one, the blue player's general, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder from Chile. In the second seat, the green player's Bazooka, flying the fiery rock. In the third seat, playing as red, we've General Twist, 90, 700, flying the flag of Australia. In position four is Prentice Kakar, uh, flying from an unspecified location. I always find folks who play as an unspecified flag to be super sus. In position five, we have an expert automated AI, and in the ultimate seat is the old Paven, plain in disguise. We show you the bonuses on Himeji Castle. You have farms plus four. Oh, is that not working? Uh huh. Ha! You got farms plus four. You got village plus five. No, still not working. You got Oyashiki Park is a three for three. Coco and Garden is a two for two. Coco and proper three for three. Himeji Castle in the middle plus four. Himeji Garden around it plus six. Oh, sorry, Castle Courts plus six, Garden plus four, Himeji North plus six, Himeji City plus seven, and Senheim plus five, if you can hold it. Uh, we're getting a sense of who wants to be where. Blue has taken up a position in the bottom left. Red would like to be in the castle proper. You can guard that center plus four on a one point, and it is the noob magnet. So we're going to see uh, purple and magenta fighting over that. I've yet to figure out where white wants to go. We hope white doesn't get involved in our business. We might be going for the plus five on the left-hand side. Because now it seems like purple's going to give that up. Maybe not. No, purple does back off. Interesting. Okay, purple wants Coco, and they're going to fight blue for that. Okay, and white's going to smack some stuff. <coughs> Hopefully not the Peatman. Yes, the Peatman, not the Peatman. And they lose. They actually lose the 5v2 roll, which you love to see. Okay. Bot smacking a lot of stuff. I think we go for a bonus. I do. I think we go for a bonus. Um, I think we go for a bonus because... We've seen a new meta emerge around friendly neighbor. And wow, did I ever get excellent dice. So that looks like as long as I don't get invaded by um, blue, that looks like me and blue could be either the best of friends or the worst of enemies. We're going to find out fairly quickly. I figure blue goes pop pop on this line. I was going to roll my four down and break you. I already would have, but my, my decision to get a plus five on the left-hand side um, hinges around blue being a good neighbor rather than a, a bad. Let's see if he goes pop pop or if he breaks me. Rather, it breaks the, the non bonus. I don't even have it. He doesn't take his own thing, which tells me that he isn't thinking what I'm thinking. Okay, too bad. Or maybe he doesn't want the Mexican standoff between him and Purple to heat up as well. <coughs> oh, 
<coughs> uh, where do you go if you're green? I mean, if, if I'm green, I definitely take this now. And guard up at the top against the white bot. I like this map a lot. This is a cool map. It's a compartmentalized map. So which bonus you take, how you guard, if you can maintain multiple positions. These twos, both being in deep pockets on the left-hand side, mean that I can fairly aggressively work on, on the right-hand side, rather, means I can fairly aggressively work on the left-hand side. Do I lose one? Eh, wah, no, he takes the road. Yeah, and, and, and that's exactly what I want, right? I want to be able to... Um, have two positions, ideally, one generating and then one on the other side of the map that I can use to make kills once the trades heat up. Okay, so Red's going to make a single attack here and then hook the troops around. Okay, no. Red uses a spawn four, which threatens my bonus. Right, okay. I'm not going to roll a 4v2, so I won't be able to get the plus 5 turn 2, and that's fine. I don't want to actually be scary. Does purple... Yeah, purple looks like... Oh, they're just going to smoke my 3. That fucking sucks. I wish I could use it. Yeah, purple's going to smoke my 3 right now, aren't they? Not yet. Uh, not yet means I use it. Use it before it's gone. Okay, he also rolls, he blitzes 4v3s, this guy. Wow. And yet it's no, it does not get punished. The odds of a 4v3 uh, balance blitzer, just so you all know, not the best play. <laughs> not the best play. Bot is. Takes an easy card. Cool. Okay. I mean, at some point, blue feels scared by my four. Um, so I actually think I move it. If blue wants to keep me off the plus five, that's fine. Let's see if this 3v1 lands. It does. Good. I'm going to keep a single additional troop that... Nah. That doesn't make sense. Just make it a six. Blue can break me if he wants still. But blue now sees where I'm going. I really hope he goes pop pop and takes uh, his own essentially plus five, right? A plus two and plus three. And then... We can be cool if I take my own. He also might just rush up into me. No. Okay, good. Blue says, all right, Pete's not stacking. He's not threatening me. So well played. Don't think blue is great, but our games kind of hinge on not destroying each other at the moment. Put the whole stack in, or you split five and five. Puts the whole stack in to threaten. Who, baby? Leaves himself perfectly soft to purple. Wow. I don't like that at all. Doesn't leave any on the other front. Okay, green is kind of on the ropes. <coughs> this map really is about that plus two in the bottom left. That's like the best... It's like the noob corner, but it's also kind of like the best position. Well, red might get a plus four in the middle now and start to. Yeah. Okay, so red's going to hold that on a single point to Meshi Castle proper. Yeah, one point plus four for the rest of the game feels good. Let's remove any exterior red positions ASAP. Part of me wants to take the, the plus five. The other part of me doesn't trust blue. Um, what I think I do is I continue to depressurize and stack here. This territory guards just about every point of entry into the bonus, except for that's one. No, that's two. That's three. Yeah, this territory actually guards every point of entry into the bonus. So <coughs> we take it right. And if everybody's taking stuff, so uh, blue has a plus five, purple has a plus five, red has a plus four, Pete will take a plus five, and then see who wants to be a good neighbor and who wants to be a piece of shit.
Yeah, I'm going to take my plus five. I'm going to show faith in blue. And we'll see how the hooky works. Leave a single troop there, just, just in case the bot gets the bright idea to break, but obviously a two is not going to defend a ten. So if blue wants to pop me, he pops me. That's fine. I will destabilize the rest of the board, though, right? It'll put purple and red at advantage. Green is fucked because he doesn't have a bonus. Um, blue can still take cards. I don't know if he understands the pathing here. Can still take cards in that bonus. Maybe he breaks both. Maybe he does that, that idiot play where you break both your neighbors in the same turn. Which looks like that might actually be the way this is going. Break me too? No, he breaks purple, doesn't break Pete. Because he sees that purple shows trust. Ooh, but he continues to stack. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We don't like that. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to put one of each of my additional troops on these two territories. Make them threes. Make me harder to kill. I don't want to end up in one place. Green sets early. Does Green see that he could have had this bonus all game and is choosing to finally take it? Does Green go and break the Bateman? I feel like having any pressure on Blue is a miss here. Probably better to just let Blue do his thing. If Blue wants to break me, he breaks me. At least then we don't lose a guarding stack as well. No, Green leaves. Wow. Green is leaving... Instead of taking his own bonus, I have a bad feeling that green on the... And also green thinks those connect, which they do not. Okay, so green's a noob. Purple's a noob. I think red and blue are better. So far, blue hasn't broken me, but he has broken purple, so all bets are off. <coughs> Single one-point extended guard in the center. 11 stacks, it's going to be hard for anyone to interrupt red. Again, really, probably the best move is to pick off red exteriors, because it seems like the war between me and blue is more inevitable. Don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. He's winning 4v2s like it's going out of style. All right, this man is getting insanely good dice. <laughs> okay, well, I definitely want my three out there to exist. He also just buried a five stack in a pocket. Where did the bot set? Okay, that goes into the green six or down. Oh, ooh, green loses a six here. Oh, green losing six here is brutal. Green is now in two places. Red loses three. That's good for me. I'm actually going to hold a plus five. So what I do with that is I'm going to put. Uh, that's actually my break. That's actually my break. I'm going to break the bot. Yeah. Hold back. <sighs> giving blue no reason to break me but that still don't won't mean he doesn't mean he won't but let's see i'm predicting a blue break on me here but he let me hold even for one turn which is if he doesn't break me i'll be happy yeah he continues to put on the front with purple and red this is why i don't stack here i don't want him adding troops Right, I'd rather be the only person on the left-hand side. I don't think blue's very good either. I think red's the best player in this game. Purple and blue are playing quite newbie. Purple did have a uh, unspecified location, though, so that tells you that they've thought enough about their flag to switch it, which is not something that you just default to. Okay, green's in two places. 17 troops, two cards. 16 now. Blue kill isn't really available to me. Green kill rather isn't really available to me. Yeah, and yeah, 
red just get plus four every turn. So my bonus is worth one more. There's an additional point of entry. Red can guard infinitely. Point. Do we see purple trade? Purple's probably going for the plus seven on the right hand side, meaning I lose my exterior. As soon as I lose my exterior, it will be really bad for me because it'll be hard for me to make kills. Um, also, it will make it easier for my opponents to kill me. So we're going to start setting early if, if and when that occurs. Um, maybe purple doesn't trade. Okay, smacking 4v2s. This man has smacked three 4v2s. It's not being punished. Incredible to see. Mott gets four troops. Doesn't have the bonus. He's going to retake his bonus, though. Probably don't want to spawn on a bonus. Probably want to actually punch it a bit. But this is quite the, the rock, paper, scissors uh, thing here. Blue feels sandwich, but he's not. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I'm going to be allowed to hold a plus five again. So let's just keep this alive for as long as we're able to. So I am now predicting I lose my exterior. Got a 22 stack. I don't think blue breaks. Thought it was more likely they break last turn. Now I don't think they do because we're both on five cards, except I have the biggest trade. He has the second smallest, third smallest. So we're on the eight trade already. Okay. Realizes he has it, sets. Maybe he pops the 17. Come on, blue. He's now in the card menu. He realizes he has a trade. A makers the 17. No. <coughs> Continues to stack on a one point as well. Going trust in red for some reason. Or I guess in his mind, this one point guards a plus two. So it's Australia. King. This is the Siam. This is the Australia. He isn't trying to do a two point on a plus five. Another better bonus. Moves a white position. White will be in pretty much a single. Oh, he breaks. Breaks white instead. No. He doesn't realize that these two don't connect. Yeah. Moves the white position. Good. Okay. Green's still in two places. <coughs> <laughs> Blue has by far the most troops. The removal of this exterior will put white in a single position. Uh, kill path on white looks like one, two, three, four, five. That's a split. Six, seven, eight, nine. Split. Ten, eleven. Split. Twelve, thirteen. Split. Fourteen. Okay, breaks. No, kills purple. All right, we're losing purple. Purple dies on five cards. Cool. Won't have enough to kill me. A possible kill on green if we're red. I don't think so, though. Yeah, red is the best player in this game. Possible kill on green. Kill on green looks like pop, split, pop, pop, up. Takes it a blue position in the process. I don't think he does it. Yeah, it goes back to guard. Okay. Okay. Bot gets 10. It's a blue three. Yeah, that's right. Bot held a bonus. I was the only one breaking. Six comes down. 5v3 we see, I think. I think we do see 5v3. No, I have a position out there, but it's not going to live very long. Okay, so... I think the move is to put myself in position to kill... Uh, green. Here. Mm. 
Assuming Greed doesn't have a set. Um, red has it before me. So red's going to go like this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is a perfect kill on green. If they miss, <clears throat> they fuck this up somehow. Um, if they don't take it, if maybe green says, there's all sorts of things that could happen. I'm leaving my position um, against blue here because I am, I'm feeling that blue would be getting ready to do a sue here. Um, if I didn't, but he's showing strangely good neighbor to me. And we don't have a set on three. So this is the this is the crucial turn here. If green sets, if they don't, does red take them on four cards? I think the answer is yes. I think red is lined up to do it. Yeah. And I think we're gonna see red win because of that play. <clears throat> Maybe the bot connects into me and I can kill the bot. But I think, yeah, set, kill, green, set is the line, and then what happens? Then it's a three-player game. Bingo. Set, kill, green, set is the line. Yeah. I'm going to go, and good game, which hopefully encourages blue to hit him. <laughs> I need to live long enough to trade. Yeah, regards on us on a one point. That's what I would do if I were you. Takes the bonus and then regards on one point. Why not? Why not pop that? Doesn't. Huh. There's no, I want the white kill. That also makes sense. Does white bot set? If white bot sets, that might make me the fish to blue. I think I might still be the fish to blue, but blue doesn't move quickly. Red is thinking. I don't think we're going to see anything other than him position to his one point right here. No, he fails the fortify. Okay, white bot does set. Oh, okay. Huh. White bot does set. All right. Is blue the type of noob who adds to his stack and, and goes stack punching in the three player? Because that's a big part of the reason why I moved away from him at this point in the game. Miraculously, my plus five holds? No. White bot's a taker, not a breaker? Miraculously, my... Fuck, wouldn't have expected that at all. All right, but now... Now my kill lines are fucked. Um, so... I'm going to play more of a self-preservation style. Remove a, we're going to remove a red exterior... I hit a bunch of white here. Not too much, but it'll be quite hard for any of my opponents to actually get me. I'm obviously not taking the second bonus either. All right, blue. Do you have cards? Do you set and slam red? I think red kills you if you don't. And I'm going to want to be with Red, who's had all the kills. So Red will be an advantage. I think I'll survive. If Blue doesn't slam Red, if he doesn't trade, it's Red's game, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Nothing much to think about. And in Prague, you want to do your thinking on other people's turns. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we're expecting to see from Blue here. Looks like that is a Red victory. He doesn't act. Kill on blue is a lot easier than the kill on me. I'm red. Also, I have buried troops. I have a set. So it's 35. Fucking the quitting. Okay, bot sets. Okay, that's bad for me. Now I get a lower replacement. Than 
blue box. Now red's going to set prioritize killing me. Unless he doesn't have a trade. Does. Yeah, I die. Now I die because blue bought it. Right? Yeah, I die. Look at this shit. Fucking pathetic. Broken ass game. Ugh. I wonder if, if uh, blue comes back. Good quit, Blue. Strategic botting. Also, good kill for Red. Like, I think you still do that even if he doesn't bot because I don't have the cards. Or rather, he doesn't have the cards anymore, right? So, man. Blue's like a fucking novice, right? So is purple. Red's good. Red could be an intermediate, maybe an expert. Don't think he's any better than that. Good kill, though, for an intermediate. He's too slow for to be a master. And, and too imprecise. Yeah, like you had the white kill here. He still, do, still does, I guess, but he doesn't have the speed to take it. But that's fine. Bot's on one, right? So. Yeah, bot takes a card. So as far as, as, far as Himeji Castle goes, um, the, the extended one point in the middle of a plus four is very, very good. I held a plus five. But not being in the middle of the map, even though I held it at the pleasure of the blue player, wasn't really enough to address. I mean, I was just in the wrong seat, I think. Yeah, bot's going to hit some shit. This game's over in two turns. Red either uh, kills white and sets or set kill white and then pummel blue. <coughs> this game's over. But it was an interesting quit, interesting moment to quit the game. Yes. Kill White said. Possible he's a master. I don't think so. I I would say I would say intermediate at best, but maybe expert. This is my read on this play. This is like good play for an intermediate. Why wouldn't you take the bot kill? You want an extra card? Huh. Oh no, you close the line from yourself. I see. Couldn't actually take the white kill here. Because these don't connect with each other. Yeah, this is an intermediate. Yeah, don't close the line again. That's a straight path. One, two, three. It's a bit of a tricky map to path. I like that about Himeji. I generally like this map a lot. The The strongholds have like these compartmentalized maps and um, it's cool to see the way the different pockets play. Like if you were playing this in fixed, I think the the middle position would be OP. But then again, the bottom left is good, right? Starting here with a plus two is very, and then leading and having that plus two immediately lead, a one point plus two immediately lead into a uh, two point plus five. It's definitely what you want to be doing and fixed. All right. <coughs> Let's not dawdle about red, set kill blue. And let's see the ranks. Still doesn't have it this turn. Unless the 20 beats 24. Might see a good roll. This is probably like a 50-50 roll. 
nice. Yep, just enough. Good, good shit. And the ranks, who's good? Reds and intermediate, everyone else is beginner or lower. Ah, expert, all right. Uh, yeah, no shocker that um, blue and purple were novices. Not shocked that green is a beginner. GG General Twist. Twist and shout, man. Good kill. Good series of kills. Uh, all right, let's see where Hameji Castle stacks up in the list. For free for all the rest of World Dom. So, Hameji Castle is a compartmentalized map. Um, I like it. Do I like it more than Canada? No. Do I like it more than Italian Conquest? No. I do like it more than Lübeck. So it's here. It's in like the weird middle tier for maps, I'd say. Um, something about Himeji being compartmentalized. I mean, Lübeck is open. So I think in a vacuum, um, Lübeck is a better map. But I think Himeji is far more interesting. Right? King, Qing Dynasty also. Like, very interesting maps. Um, as far as having um, significant geography affecting the way it plays. And uh, and that's good, right? That's the beginning of the strongholds and castles. We're going to see some cool maps coming up, like Red Sands Fort and Conway Castle. And these are uh, these are what we can expect from the coming week. So I uh, hope you enjoyed, folks. hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little educational and informative if you are interested in a better game of Risk. I invite you to ride to my channels. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do weekday streams on Twitch for all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.